This module talks about phase diagrams. So what is a phase diagram? It's a graph of the force substance of the pressure versus the temperature. And on it, it shows the different phases of that substances at, at these different combinations of temperature and pressure. Uh, for instance, these graphs, these um, phase diagrams are for carbon dioxide. And so temperature minus 78 here, minus 57 here. Um, pressure is one atmosphere, 5.2 atmospheres here. So we can see a couple of things. Um, this region here is where it's a solid, this is where it's a liquid, this is where it's a vapor. Along any of these lines, there's an equilibrium between the phases that touch that line. So anywhere along this line, there's an equilibrium between solid and liquid. So to go from here to here, you would have to melt, you would be melting that substance. And if you keep the pressure the same, you, you would increase the temperature, <clears throat> then you would, you know, go across this line, you would melt it at a higher temperature. Now, this point right here is special. It's called the triple point. And it's the point at which three phases are all in equilibrium with each other, solid, liquid, and uh, gas in this case. <clears throat> now, this point right here, it, it stops for a reason. This is called the critical point. And at the critical point, any temperature higher than the temperature at the critical point, which is called the critical temperature, that substance can only exist as a supercritical fluid, which has its own properties. We're not going to really talk about them, but just know that that's what happens out in this region here. So the pressure right at this point here is the, called the critical pressure. The temperature is called the critical temperature. And that point is called the critical point. This is called the triple point. <clears throat> now, let's look at, this is still carbon dioxide. Let's keep the pressure at you know normal atmospheric pressure, about one atmosphere, right? And increase the temperature starting down here somewhere below minus 78. And as we increase the temperature, when we hit minus 78 degrees Celsius, it goes right from the solid to the gas. That's sublimation. At one atmosphere of pressure, liquid does not exist. We can't melt this solid, no matter how hard we try. Can I make it a liquid at one atmosphere of pressure? It can only exist as either a vapor or a solid. Now, we could, let's say, vaporize it, sublimate it, and then increase the temperature up to minus 25 Celsius or so, and then increase the pressure, and then we could make it into a liquid if we wanted to. This is water, and water has a fairly unique characteristic to it in its phase diagram in that this line, the line that separates the solid from the liquid phases, it leans to the left. If you go back and look at carbon dioxide, most substances look like this. And so what happens here is if you have, keep the temperature the same, you start out here, some here as a liquid, and you squeeze it, you increase the pressure, it becomes a solid. <clears throat> now when you increase the pressure at a constant temperature, you're compressing it. And what that happens, you know, because density is mass over volume, you're decreasing the volume with the same amount of mass. You're increasing the, the density of the substance. Now with, the, with water, <clears throat> you start out as a solid and you increase the pre pressure within this temperature range. You make it a liquid. And what that tells us is that the liquid is more dense than the solid, at least at, under these temperature, at these temperatures. And this is just to show you that phase diagrams don't all look like we just saw for carbon dioxide and water. This is carbon. A portion, a portion of the phase diagram for carbon has four different phases, so it has two triple points. Um, you can go from graphite to diamond if you increase the pressure at, under these temperatures. So remember, for a phase diagram, you should know what the triple point is right there. You should know what the critical point, you can't see it here, but it's up here. You should know what happens <clears throat> as you change either the pressure or the temperature, how you can go from one phase to the other. And you should know what sublimation is, how that happens. Melting, vaporization, melting from here to here, vaporization from here to here. <clears throat>